Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll show you how to use Adobe After Effects. So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. I'll be showing you what are the basics, how to create a project, navigate the UI, as well as creating or exporting your first composition or video. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing you need to do here is you need to open up Adobe After Effects. So currently I have the 2023 version of it. Now in this case, this is the first UI that you'll be seeing in your Adobe Effects UI. Now in this case, let's just click on the new project option here. It's going to open up a new window wherein you should be able to see this. Now in here, We'll be discussing the parts that you could actually access, what this specific part does, what the specific window do, and a lot of those things. Now, in this case, the first thing you'll notice here is the very center, which is the new composition and new composition from footage. Now, in this section at the very center, this is going to be where the preview of the video or the composition that you'll be creating will be located. Now, at the right side, this is where you'll be able to see the effects and preview, audio, info, libraries, character, paragraph, tracker, content aware fill. Now basically this is where you'll be able to see your effects like in presets. So if you're not aware yet, you could actually add presets into your Adobe After Effects in meaning that this are a collection of effects that is from the name itself going to be presets. So these are preset effects that you could use repeatedly on your videos. Now, in this case, most of the time this is being used to get effects or even edit some aspects in it. Like for example, uh, changing a few things or uh, editing your characters and a lot of those things. Now, at the very bottom, this will we'll be able to see our timeline as well as our layers. Now, like how any other Adobe product actually works, they have layers. So meaning any layer that is located at the very top of that. So meaning at the very top here, it is going to be the first layer that you'll be seeing the second layer, third layer, and as it goes on. Now at the right side is going to be the timeline wherein you'll be able to determine how long a specific layer is going to be running. Now at the left side, this will be, you'll be able to see your compositions, your folders, your assets, and everything that you need to get in here. Now in this case, first thing we want to do here is we first have to add our videos. Now in this case, I already have this bunch of videos here that I have prepared. I have this picture here, which is a PNG as well as a video here. So let's go ahead and highlight all these pictures and assets that we have and drag it into the library section here. So it's going to start the import process. And as you can see, we were able to add the video as well as the image, as you can see right now. Now, in this case, you can go ahead and double click on that specific asset so that you'll be, you'll be able to view it. So if you want to play it, you, you just need to click on the space on your keyboard and you should be able to play it into your sample here. Now, in this case, also, if you're going to preview something, sometimes your videos here could be kind of laggy. So I would suggest you to change the current, uh, like, for example, the magnification here, like if you want to view it uh, furthermore. But I'll be showing you how to optimize your uh, project here so that you'll be able to view it without it actually lagging. Now, in this case, for us to actually start our video here, we first have to create a composition. A composition is a collection of images, text, or even images that you'll be adding in here. Now, in this case, to, for us to create our first composition, right-click on the library section here, and you just need to click on New Composition. Now, I would suggest you to use the preset that we have right now. So it's going to be HD 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. So this is good for a beginner. So the frame rate is also 29.97. Now, you could rename your composition here. So you could go ahead and name that. But I'm going to keep this as Comp1, which is that stands for Composition 1. Now, in this case, you, go, you could go ahead and click on OK here to first create your composition. Now, immediately, you should be able to see your composition here, as you can see right now. So first things first, you notice here is nothing is actually present here. So let's just add our first video here. So go ahead and click on your video here, drag it into the layer section. And as you can see, we were able to add our video. Now, in this case, if you want to uh, basically uh, change a few things here, for example, you could go ahead and uh, double click on it and you should be able to view it. But if you want to view your composition itself, just click on composition here. 
Now, in this case, if you click on the arrow here next to the um, one here, which is the layer one here, the first thing that you'll see, you should be able to see the transform and audio as well. Now, go ahead and basically open up transform here, and you should be able to see the scale. Now, in this case, you could change, actually change the scale here. As you can see right now, we were able to change the scale to fit the screen itself because sometimes if the video is a lot larger than the composition that we have it's going to be something zoomed in so it's a great way for you to gauge how it's going to look like so in this case i'm going to maybe make this around 50 percent that works so yeah so let's use 50 percent here now from here we want to add our image here so go ahead and click on your image and drag it into the section here but as you can see our image is nowhere to be found which is something kind of sad because we want it you want to view those image that we have right now so we want what we need to do here is we want to press on the name of the image that we just recently added and make it make sure that you drag it at the very top here so we'll be able to basically add this as the first layer that's going to be seen because this is going to be a png which which in this case is actually a transparent uh, image now in this case open up transform here and you could go ahead and basically change the scale again so let's just maybe make it look like this one now, in this case, you could go ahead and adjust a few things here. Like, for example, the uh, position itself. I'll be showing you how to use basic um, positioning here and how to actually animate your fo uh, photos here. Now, also, if you click on your layer here, you should also ch you, you'll be able to change the length of that specific clip or section or layer here. So maybe we only want the layers to be around or a bit so let's just make is allow this one and we could go ahead and change the length itself. So maybe we want it to be a shorter. So in this case, we want to reposition our section here. So maybe in this section here and click on edit here and you want to click on split, split layer. And from here, you could change or select this layer here since we don't need this one and just hit on backspace to delete that. And as you can see, we only have this 10 second clip here. Now, in this case, we first have to animate our tree here. So you go ahead and expand the tree here and you could go ahead and go to positions here, go to the first section. So in this case, we want to make the tree here appear at the very bottom here and go up. So in this case, you could go ahead and change the section here for the Y axis, if I am correct here. So in this case, you could go ahead and add the position, click on the timer here. And from here, you could go ahead and go to the section here, which in this case is where you, it's going to appear. So let's just change it and make it a lot uh, up at the up section here. So just change this one. So by the way, you could enter a manual um, value here if you double click on it. But I just like using the uh, scroll functionality here since it's a lot easier for me to estimate it. Now in this case, once you've done that, you could go ahead and just go back in here and just press on space and you should be able to see the current output on it. Now, by the way, if you're having troubles on playing this specific clip here, you could go ahead and go to the top uh, lower left of this clip here. And from here, you can change this to auto, full, half, third, or quarter. So just to give you an example, I'm going to go with quarter here. So it's going to have a lesser stress on my PC because right now, it's going to basically only show us a quarter of the quality right now. Especially if you're working for high quality videos, it might be kind of hard for your PC uh, to process it, especially if you don't have a high-end one. As you can see, this is going to be the result for it. So also, as you can see, you might notice it's not going to be something smooth. So if you want to add, like, for example, is in, is out, you could go ahead and highlight your uh, values here or your keyframes, right? Click on them and you could go ahead and go to the section for keyframe assistant and you could go ahead and click on easy ease. Now, this case is going to apply that. And as you can see, when we actually play this one, you might not immediately notice this one, but it's going to be a lot easier and a lot smoother if we actually play this one. Now, in this case, the next thing that we want to do here is we want to add our text. 
So to add our text, what we need to do is we just need to click on the T icon, which is at the very top section here, which includes the tools that we could utilize or use here for our clip. Now in this case, just click on the T here. And from here, you could go ahead and just draw in whatever section here. So maybe I want to put it in here and I want to say hello. In this case, at the right section, again, like what I said before, you should be able to change the font for it, the style, the uh, other sections that you want to change here. Like for example, let's go highlight this one. And maybe we want to change the character here, make it a lot smaller because our picture might not accommodate it. Now in this case, once you've added that, you could go ahead and go back in here because since we want to um, make sure that it actually appears correctly on a specific time. Now in this case, it's going to say refresh, enable, release cop lock to refresh view. So in this case, just click on cops lock to apply that and you could you should be able to change how it actually looks. Now in this case, you could go ahead and click on this section here. So I'm going to use selection tool here and we could you should be able to change it as you can see right now. Now in this case, we want it to appear in this section here, starting, starting around here. So you could change the ends of it, as you can see right now, and change the very end. Now we want to add a simple effect here. So let's just go to effects and presets here, and we should be able to search for something that's, let's say, fade. Now in this case, there's going to be a lot that you could use here. Like for example, fade up and clip, and a lot more, but in this case, we only want to use the basic one here. So let's just say, let's just use the fade in and out frames here, which is behaviors. So let's go ahead and add it into our text here. So whenever our text here is going to appear, it's going to fade in. And whenever it actually goes out, it's going to fade out as you can see right now. Now in this case, those are the basics on how to use Adobe After Effects here because obviously there's going to be a lot of things that we could discuss here, but for now, those are going to be the basics on how to use it. Now finally, how do you actually um, export this one? So it's actually pretty easy. So what we need to do here is we just need to go back to projects here, make sure that you have your composition one here. And from here, go to composition. And from here, you want to go ahead and click on the option here that says add to render queue. Now under render queue, you have to change a few things here. Like for example, the output module here. Now you could change this if you want to, but I like to keep it with H.264 and you could go ahead and change whatever here, but this is the settings that I want to use. And from here, you also have to specify the output folder here. So let's just say I want it in the downloads folder, click on save here. And from here to start it, just click on render at the top right here. And from here, just wait for it to start or completely render. But in this case, let's just wait for it. And as you can see, it is now complete. So let's go ahead and go to our download folder. And as you can see, this is comp one, composition one that we just recently created. So let's go ahead and double click on it to view the video that we just created. So in this case, it might take some time, but in this case, it should actually play in a bit. So as you can see, it's going to go up here and our text should appear any moment here. It's going to fade in. And at the very end, we should be able to see the fade out process. Now, by the way, the length of the clip here actually is determined by what you set on uh, your composition. So just to give you an idea, so right click on composition here, go to composition settings. So if you want to change the duration itself, like for example, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, and a lot of those, you can go ahead and do that. And from here, click on OK to apply that. But in this case, that is the basics for using Adobe After Effects. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.